Mono Red Magda. Okay, so this deck is built around Magda the Horde Master. Two mana, two, two. Whenever you commit a crime, make a tap treasure token. Ability triggers only once each turn, but you can trigger on your opponent's turn too. Um, you can sacrifice three treasures. And this is also a cauldronable ability. We have one cauldron as a goblin engineer tutor target um, that allows you to sacrifice three treasures, make a four, four scorpion dragon. Very cool with flying and haste. Um, you are making, you're committing crimes with Mishra's Bobble, your eight, uh, seven burn spells and four relic of virginitas. You are a lot of times I'm hoping are going to be able to go like relic turn one, Bobble, Magda, commit a crime, commit a crime and just have, you know, have two treasures immediately. You also have Enterprising Scallywag and Ragavan for additional sources of treasure generation. And then we're playing Goblin Engineer as like a very, very sick uh, value card in the stack. Um, and, and sort of in combination with Legion Extruder here. Two man, uh, one, just I think one copy as an engineer target is where I want to start with this. And I'm really interested to see how this card plays. Um, I, 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 so one thing about these kind of decks is like, I usually feel like they're like a little light on interaction. They're a little slow, but the deck is, I think a lot faster with like lava spur boots and Magda now. And we have four relics, needle, haywire, might, and seven burn spells. And like Urza saga to like tutor the stuff, of course, or engineer to tutor the stuff. So I'm, I'm kind of hopeful that the deck will not be as slow as like other like mono red artifact builds we've had in the past. I, I'm really excited about, um, Magda, though. Mag Magda is, like, my favorite card from the new set, probably. But I don't think it's the best card. That was a crypt. Okay, Gigantha on the draw in the blind. Okay. Cool. Just I was on the play. Up against Kira, though. I guess we're kind of on the play. <laughs> Are there more blue cards like Essence Flux? None that cost one mana. So we maybe just have the nuts with Magda where we can go turn two Magda bobble and then relic target my opponent, get two treasures. And then they like kill my Magda maybe and then I get to go second Magda relic make a dragon. This is all I suppose contingent on my opponent not having the card counter spell. And feel like I need to play the bubble now. So I stick. I can. If they have a removal spell, I still can only commit one crime here. Uh, Lau Warms Volkern Product. What is that? Why is your name German? Or <laughs> thank you for your Twitch Prime. So you're gonna binding my Magda. Okay, get to commit a crime. And then next turn we get to go potentially second copy of Magda. Well, I guess we can't crack the bobble and the relic because we can only commit one crime that triggers Magda a turn. So we'll see what we draw, I suppose. Uh, I can hold the bobble and I can just go like scallywag, sack bobble, get another treasure. If I draw land, maybe I'll goblin engineer. Draw saga. I think I just wanna I think I just wanna play Scallywag and then crack the bubble if it resolves. Did not resolve. So now I guess let's prioritize getting this goblin engineer. Probably gonna grab Frexian Dragon Engine. Gonna save the bubble still. For sure is German Luke warm bread product. Very cool. <laughs> Luke, well, I see, I can see it now. Trying to rent the uh Prowess deck on the other monitor, but Mana Traders isn't wanting to take not even Mana Traders wants to take the Jace of the deck back. <laughs> For draw land, I get to go like land magda blast activate engineer. Could be correct to just saga. Maybe they'll bounce my saga. That'd be kind of nice. I don't know. Yeah, this is kind of nice. I get to like just I get to resolve Magda. I get to commit two crimes. I get to replay this. I can. Should I dragon engine this turn though? 
I think I'm just going to attack the Teferi. A deck like this, how do you balance internal silver bullets with silver bullets with eternal consistency? It's a very complicated question. I, I can't, I don't, I, it's a hard question to answer very succinctly. Uh, it depends. Um, <laughs> but to some extent, your bullets have to be good. <laughs> they have to be, good. not only do they have to be good, they have to be good enough. Um, yeah, they have to be good enough. And I, I, I don't know if that's, <laughs> It's maybe probably not very helpful, but it's the simplest way. It's like you just have to like answer. The, is your deck better because it has this one of silver bullet? You know, is the answer to that question yes? It's worth playing. If not, it's not. All right, I'm gonna go to Galvanic bless them. So Tora plus Coco seems fun. Maybe. Now would it deal two or four? It, it's four. We have three artifacts in play. Oh, it would also deal four if that was our if, if that was our crime commit. It would also deal four. Does it feel like they're baiting me into? Using the Magda? I'm going to use the Magda. I think I'll play around Solitude. Maybe more fail upside versus fail state, actually. I don't know. A lot of, like, it's pretty just probably overthinking it. Like, like I, I can't imagine, like, what the answer to be. Like, that would, if like, how, how could I answer this question, like, one sentence that would, like, really bring you to enlightenment, you know? Like, how do you balance silver bullets versus consistency versus deck fail state it's it just kind of not that complicated i think i think when you try to put it like in so many like complicated terms it really just ends up uh in a lot of ways being more trouble than it's worth because i think i'm actually gonna pop tapping the urza saga it's kind of weird oh wait i can't never mind i won't be able to i think i could blast them and then goblin engineer but i'm also exiling my phyrexian dragon engine Hmm. Target first. I've already committed a crime this turn. Uh, just, just wasting time. What's risk reward analysis? You want low risk, high reward option for a bullet? Yeah, but I, I'm just saying, like, I can't answer this question. It's just, it's just too like theory based for me to like give you a, a the the kind of answer you you need or deserve. Like, I I I just I don't have a, a like a, a two sentence answer for you that will give you any amount of enlightenment. Here is what I'm trying to say. I wish that I did, but it's just the the question is like too technical for like a, a simple answer that actually makes sense. It is that makes sense. Um, and about my token, how badly do I want to commit a crime here? I think I want to commit a crime pretty bad. Target first treasure. I I already Magda only triggers once a turn. I've already committed a crime with Magda this turn. There's there's no point to using the. Uh, Relic tap besides wasting everybody's time. Okay, take a count take that counter spell pretty pretty easily. I think I just get the boots, actually. So this is seven or eight damage. I think I'm just gonna put them to one. One means they can't crack a fetch land. This is this is worse against you know instant speed supreme verdict, of course. I play painter and culture like seven all the time. Yeah, th th and that's what I'm just saying. It's like a lot of times, like these kind of technical questions, they may seem like good questions to ask, but it just it just ev everything is so situational. Everything just depends so much on like what the what the actual deck is and it just it just isn't the kind of question i can just like rattle off a clean answer to they can't exile this with solitude and then block the magda just kind of nice i can also like if they 
they do like exile just solitude i can like sack star and then engineer star back into play so here they're just going to exile oh oh read the new card <laughs> Doing deck text. Do channel point deck text. I think they're on a cooldown right now. Okay, so up a game against control. Yeah, the boots is looking are looking good. Um not gonna be sideboarding very much. I think I'm gonna cut the shadow spear for second haywire might. I can probably just click submit. Mana traders, please take my J stack. Do you think boots make Druid worth testing more? Questing Druid? No. You... Devoted Druid. Oh. You want to play Devoted Druid in Modern. That's your, that's your, that's your struggle. <laughs> that's your struggle, not mine. Uh, let's keep this on the draw. I'm liking Legion Extruder. It hasn't been like amazing. It's been, uh, the ETB two damage is nice. And then both times we've played it after that, they've just killed it immediately. Kind of greedy double bobble draw on the key. Keep on the draw. Magical Mind has also been so laggy for me. And Mana, Mana Traders literally will not take this uh, this J stack from me. Giving Making a hasty Ward 1 Ragavan seems kind of nice. Okay, we got a, another chance to find a land, huh? Yeah, the j stick performed really poorly, unfortunately. Okay, um, should we Scallywag or should we Ragavan Boots? Both seem pretty good. I think I'm going to Scallywag. Raga. It's just, I don't know. I think it's kind of close, but the kind of tiebreaker here is I really want to crack my bobble this turn so that I can dig for lands, and if I play Ragavan, I feel like I'm just not very incentivized to crack the bobble. Yeah, definitely good to know about the uh, the subtlety, I agree. So I draw another Urza Saga. I could make a construct equip the haste. I could cast Ragavan, equip haste, attack, and... If it doesn't get subtlety, do magic lines. I, I need to restart probably. the The neon sign is here. It is uh, it's too bright right right there. I need to like rearrange the room probably. Maybe I should just like put it on top. And just chromatic star into the ragavan. Dude, I mean, I don't know. Permanent hasty Ragavan with Ward 1. Looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna attack them. Um, kind of scared of instant speed verdict. So I kind of think we could maybe we're gonna make a saga, make it off the token, make it off of this. Needle J seems okay. I'm sure, Teferi seems okay. Relic seems okay too. Let's go for the needle. And then to play around instant speed verdict, I'm just going to go to combat here. Waste the mana. Rewarded. Then I can either play second Skylawag, get two treasures, or use these two treasures to make a construct. Let's let's make the construct. We don't have that much juice left in the in the tank. 
You always tap for mana because you can make Contract of the Saga. Yeah, I know. So they can't instant speed Verdict because they didn't uh, plus the Teferi. We are going to trigger Descend off the Saga going to the yard again. Yeah, the boots have been looking really good. As you get to play six new cards in this list. Okay, so... I think I'm going to grab a Relic and then equip Boots. Or cast Solitude? No. Binding for one mana, maybe? I have a Mite in my hand, so despite this looking like a somewhat telegraphed Binding... Oh, they're just fetching because of Needle on the fetch land, but... Just gonna equip here. So no Harkas Solitude this turn is also nice to know. Trust down is uh, less nice. Should I kill this Teferi? Seems okay. Just like it's a pain in the ass if they unlock the Teferi. The two damage doesn't matter the most. Looks like they're trying to prismatic ending here. What's the broken part about this deck? Did I, did, I, did I say there was a broken part of the deck? Ma the new card Magda is, is really good. We, we are a deck built around Magda. We get to play a lot of new cards. George, tier one for three months in advance. We are brewing with the new cards. So they're pending the needle. Should be able to kill the Teferi by like bootsing a scallywag here. Can you hear it in the hand for them? Guess I should be tapping relic end of turn. And let's uh, let's actually use Haywire Might to get the scallywag back since this will let me descend. It's basically mono red artifact synergy aggro. Sure. I guess so, yeah. That is... I, I agree that's the archetype. So it's Kahira, two mystery cards. That's one of them. They're just going to fire up with the hall. Deal. Very aggressive. Hall of the Storm Giants. Uh, Magda would be... Nice draw. But we couldn't quite activate this turn. We did draw Magda. So I'll go tap here. Commit a crime. And then... I could haste the Magda, but I think it's better for me to spend a mana to commit a crime on my opponent's turn. Maybe that's not true, because we would still just be able to still be able to make a dragon. Mm. It does seem like they're kind of just flooded and they're going in on the hall. As for told with the spree cards. I mean you I would imagine you can't just like as for told take up once and then spree with all the modes i think you would just basically discount those spree cards by one mana right unless i'm misunderstanding the misunderstanding a uh, sacking a, a token does not let you descend you have to sack uh it has to be a a, a, a permanent that goes to the yard non-token permanent okay love to see this I think I'm just going to Galvanic Blast. Seems pretty unlikely that they could counter this. Commit a crime. The crime of the Galvanic Blast. It is really nice that Magda very often is just making two treasure tokens on the turn cycle. I think I'm going to go ahead and sack the, uh, tapped, the new tapped treasure token here. Nice. Well, easy keep if one of these sagas is a red source. I'm gonna keep this hand. Probably put back the engineer. Yeah, it seems like it seems like you can just have Magda as a plan B slash Magda as a enabler. One thing I really dislike is Okay, so you're playing Scrabbling Claws so you don't exile as many cards from the graveyard. I guess that's okay. Grinding station committing crimes is also kind of funny. Dude, look at this lag. I click keep and it's just like, we're just frozen. I didn't reveal Gigantha. 
We're just hiding it, though. Oh my gosh. I don't think I would main deck the ensnaring bridge. I would probably play third grinding station over it because you have you know double the combo. Oh, I, I would also think that you would want to play at, at Ragavan plus Mox Amber so that your combo turns are like a lot less mana intensive. You can play less burn spells too. You can play like one less bolt pretty easily. Just hold that for a reboot. I mean, I, I I did that like minutes ago. But I, I I guess so. Yeah, I, I would think that you would really want to play a, like the first mock the first the first box amber and the first ragavan makes your combo one less mana to do, which just it just matters so much. Like I was playing an, a copy of Offer You Can't Refuse in the uh surveil version of Breach Combo, just just so you could combo for one less mana, which matters a lot. Um Alternatively, you could play like one copy of Unearth, and then you could unearth a Crime Novelist for the mana. But like, just I think like one cup, one one card in your deck to make your combo turns way less mana intensive is going to be worth it. I, the one copy of Unearth to me sounds kind of nice, maybe better than the Ragavan Mox Amber plan. The Ragavan would also be good in the stack. Okay, so I'm gonna graveyard this Haywire Might after like two minutes. Seems like oh, this over here. Seems like Magic Online is functioning at the moment. Think it's worth it just play one Ragavan? I think I would. I think I'll play one copy of Unearth potentially. Dude, this is our second time getting spell snare today. Tough. I'm gonna keep this bobble and cracked for now, I guess. It's also, I, I don't love that we're playing like four Scrabbling Claws in like the combo deck and like the Graveyard Combo deck. Looks interesting. Okay, opponent is a Ragavan Dasher. I think Dusk seems better than Dragon Engine as Grind Engineer target. Maybe. I was definitely, when I was playing the Goblin Cauldron deck, I, I was really liking the Dragon Engine. Not gonna get tie bindered. What does an earth do here? So it, we're talking about in the uh, the deck tech. If you when you're going off with your grinding station Mishra's bobble, what you can do is you can unearth crime novelist when you mill your deck, and then crime novelist will give you enough mana to cast grape shot without you needing to start your loop with two mana. Um, and it's just not too tough to splash like one blood crypt in the deck. You can even just cut the second stomping ground for it if you want. Um, I think against the dashed Ragavan, I'm going to choose to not uh, blast or block it. Opponent. Ragavan going back to the hand. I'm making a construct. Trying to. Any burn spells? Does this deck want one Spring with Drum? I don't know. You could play a Spring with Drum. I have chosen not to today. I already have a lot of Saga token targets. Saga targets. Yeah, they could also be lagging. Get main deck dressed down. I think I just want to double relic here and just have this be a 4 4 potentially. If they have another bolt, it kind of sucks, but if they had heat, they would have heated already, I suppose. In a generic Urza Saga deck, would you rather boot from main deck to make room for Lava Spurs or Hair Might or Needle? There is no such thing as a generic Urza Saga deck. Every deck in modern is different and unique in its own thing. And I, I would I would strongly encourage all chatters to 
never eva- never evaluate decks in a vacuum like this. Never be like, hmm, in your normal or- what what is a normal Urza Saga deck? You know, it's just not it's just not a thing. You've got you 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 know you've got a what deck what what specific deck are we talking about here? Is Krinko too slow? I mean, I'm not playing any three drops in this deck at the moment. I feel kind of happy about that. Because, like, the answer to your question, like, w- like which Urza Saga target you're choosing, is going to depend almost entirely on what the rest of your deck is. Not even Asmo decks. Yeah, every Asmo deck is different, too. It's like, and that's also not, you know, that not that's not a generic Saga deck. There's just no such thing. So they have a Murktide. They have to spend all of their mana to Murktide me, but they definitely will. Yeah, we have a Boots in the deck. Boots with the Spurs. Oh, are they going to go, like, burn spell, burn spell, Murktide? Cool play. We can go Blast Blast, the 8-8 Murktide. It'd be kind of cold to this Ragaman, but then we have another Saga, which is nice. So Blast. Blast. Relic you. And then let's leave this Bobble uncracked so that we can... Um, have a 4-4 four, four blocker for Ragavan that doesn't die to Bolt. We need Chapin to give us the broad theme, Spike his details, man. I, I'm telling you, there's just no broad themes in Modern anymore. There's just, I like, at least where I'm at at the moment, I just... It's just it's just not helpful to try to think of modern in like a broad context. It feel, every deck, every strategy to me has been is just feels so specific and so like specialized that it is it is just kind of a waste of time to like try to think like super conceptually about the format. Every deck of modern is weird and it like is like almost just formula breaking and you know just doesn't just doesn't adhere to normal deck building standards. And, and trying to find these heuristics, understand why people want to try to do it, but it just, I don't know, it's just, I think it's just not a good use of your time as a modern gamer. So if I got the boots, I would have 12, 13 power. It seems like I should probably just grab Shadow Spear and kill them next turn and not let them hit me with Ragavan. Twiddle Storm Ring plus Sylvan is a good spot at the moment. I don't know. Probably not. A lot more force of negations and pithy needles, I feel. Top tier decks are mainly Ring, Bowman, Grief, and Leyline. I don't know, but each again, each of these decks are all just so <laughs> so different too. It's just I don't know. This is just my general advice to not not get so lost in this kind of thought process. So I need one more card in the yard to cast a Murktide here. Awesome integrator, very cool. I like bobbling in response to Ragavan and cracking Relic if we like what we see. I don't know, I just feel like I just want these constructs to be one bigger than cracking the bobble, and like I, re- I really don't want to crack the relic and get these both smaller. Like this, this is game one. Like you just kind of can't beat <laughs> two two six six contracts while I mean while I'm keeping them off delirium. Indic dress downs aren't that uncommon right now for Murktide gamers. I, I would say that it's likely less co- like less likely to be the case than likely to be the case, but I would I would probably lose to a main deck dress down here. Yeah. Been it with the tier one for six months in advance. Let's go, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, Pyre, how many people are main decking dress down at the moment? Ragavan XL two mountains. I'm like, where are my mountains? <laughs> Did you ever stream Genshin Impact? Uh, never played it. Uh, <laughs> I would stream it for sure. 
I watched Canister play it some. I don't know. It doesn't really look like my kind of game. We want a mana call for straight card. Okay, I move to one at the moment. So you still have one at the main deck? Okay. This makes sense for an out to Leyline Scion. Kind of nice that my Shadow Spear at least survives a Dress Stone. Or my. Or I just not not enough by itself here. Should probably crack the bubble end of turn at this point. Unless they can get Delirium. I guess if they have two heats, they can kill both constructs. One heat lets them kill one construct, so seems okay to crack. Legion Extruder kill. Okay. Good game against Murktide. Bring in a couple Pick Your Poisons. We're going to get Brotherhood ended again. I'm going to cut the Haywire Mites. I'm going to cut the Needle. I feel like Explosives is less common than it used to be. I want at least the first bridge. I think I should be bringing in, bringing in them all. A lot. Yeah, maybe just one. I'm not sure. If they have Brothers Hood in, I definitely don't. I think we could cut the Cauldron probably too. The Cauldron has been... I don't know. Maybe... I don't know if it's like you don't want it in this matchup. Where do you want it? We just kind of generically good game. Well, we want it, I think, actually. I think I'm going to cut the Boots. I kind of like having both Spear and Boots main and then like cutting. Like if, if I would care more about gaining life, I keep this in. If I care more about pressure, keep this in. That seemed okay, at least. Surely the cauldron's good in this matchup. The idea is that, like, you know, it's a good engineer target that doubles it, that commits crimes for Magda, then also lets you, like, rebuy the Magda ability, so the first copy is probably good to play. I think, like, I definitely want access to one. I could be just in the sideboard, though. I don't know how I feel about this card, too. It's mostly just been, like, an artifact that ETBs and deals two damage. Kind of like a pirate spell bomb, but, like, all sorcery speed. You have to do both mana up front, and... Both times, like, I don't know, both times I've played this before, the turn we just played it for lethal, it has, it's been, like... It's been removed, but it etb two damage and then got removed, which is... Can't be that bad. I've not activated it yet. Here's the total storm list. It's not not loading. I don't, not necessarily. I don't know. I, I, I kind of don't feel like Total Storm has ever been super well positioned. And like I can't imagine that things have just, like with no new cards in the set, that things have gotten like significantly better for it. Uh, on the draw against Murktide, are y'all keeping? Yeah, I kind of wanted to look at it too. Glefali is just not loading. Uh, I uh, think I'm going to mulligan. Let's keep this one. Thank you, Am Ambivalency. Thank you for popping in. So good chance I'm going to play Cauldron on turn two, then use it as a crime committer for Magda. Keep land number three. Agatha's soul called... Soul Crime Cauldron. I don't know. Dude, we're getting so spell snared today. Third time today. Thoughts on Roxanne. Roxanne. Meteor. Parentheses. Meteor Mama as a one of in Gruel Ramp. Uh, I don't know what Gruel Ramp is. Uh, if it's a, I think that Roxanne seems to not be of modern power level, but is possibly um, appropriate power level for standard Pioneer. Yeah, so I think I'm going to cast a bridge. If it gets countered, it gets countered. That's okay. The next turn we go make Saga Token, keep up Galvanic Blast. The next turn, if we draw land, we can go make Saga Token, get Relic, play Magda, commit a crime. Only two copies of the ring is wild. It's one thing I really don't understand about other breach lists. It's like... Like, how do you not have... Like, I, you can play, like, one maybe as a wish target, but this deck doesn't, isn't even playing wish. But, like, the the ring is better in... Is better in uh, 
Twiddle Storm than any other deck in Modern. And I see a lot of a lot of Twiddle players just not not playing four copies. They also have four Beseech the Mirrors with like, but and you don't seem necessarily very good at uh sacking stuff to it because are there four colony gardens there are no colony gardens you have two baubles and a song of creation like why why are there four besiege the mirrors in this deck you have like nothing to sack to it i know this this list looks really all over the place so i meant to fetch in response to the scalding tarn yeah, Ring is also very good at Amulet, but like, like in the Twiddle Storm deck, it's like you just have infinite. You have so many Twiddles to untap your ring. It, like you are just gonna win the turn you untap with it, like almost every single time. Second relic is kind of interesting. Playing around dress down could be something worth doing here. I think that I'm I think I'm gonna make a second second construct. Because it's like 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 just slamming the Magda is not necessarily the most attractive line since they well, can just like dress down plus counterspell. Or like dress down plus kill Magda before I can commit a crime. My end step. Yeah, it just seemed pretty bad. I <laughs> Maybe like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit early to call it unplayable, but uh, Dingo is a, apparently looked bad on Dingo stream too. I'll keep thinking about it, and I will likely cast the card again at some point. But had a pretty poor showing this morning. Okay, commit a couple crimes, pass the turn. How many magic crimes do you think you can make streaming career? Well, I talked about CEDH on Twitter, which seemed to be a big crime. Is Satoru broken? Satoru seemed really good. Satoru seemed really good. I have a hard time imagining it doesn't find a home. Jace could also... Jace Valkyrie could be more like Pioneer power level. Yeah, I saw Honorog's like control deck with it too. Look, Maybe it's good there. But the, the Jace Valky stuff doesn't seem... Doesn't seem great. Jace, Jace could just be good like in a control deck. But I don't, you know, not the most optimistic. I'm going to try again for Mana Traders to take the deck back. Is anybody else having a hard time getting Mana Traders to return cards to today? If only we had the God accounts. You're going to merc me? I've just, like, been stuck. I just have the... It just keeps getting stuck like this. The lag, and yeah, maybe, maybe. Just wondering if it was something other people were experiencing. All right, any creature with flying opponent, feel free to sacrifice it. I've already been spell snared once this game, right? Yeah, you have, they've they've already played one snare, one scolding. Opponent looking at snare and scolding in hand, deciding which one to use. I commit a crime. I try try to commit a crime. The heavy play play mats are pretty cool. If you my issue with them is there's no art on them, but they they're like magnetic. They fold up. They like they connect with all the other stuff. They they are really cool. I would love to get some art on them at some point. Well, so one one thing some people are doing is um um they're have they're like having people draw on them. They're having like art, you know magic artists draw on the mats, which I think is kind of cool. They exile Lightning Bolt, which is interesting. So they're prioritizing keeping Delirium here. I can't get can't get them off Delirium, so I'm just gonna tap this now. I just seem sick with Mayhem Devil, make treasure to sack him another crime with. Yeah, kind of on board. Kind of on board. Bombardment also is a crime committer. Rilling with the 31 months, thank you, welcome back. Couldn't you combine a crew with Bolton stack? Magda only triggers once a turn. Um, no, it triggers only once a turn. But you can trigger on your turn and your opponents. Spare with the Beanshock Shell Satoro. I've tried to build it. I, it. It looks not good to me. 
Uh, I could be wrong, but I, I, to, at the moment, it doesn't seem like you want to cascade into Satoru and then just evoke a bunch of stuff that badly. Because it's like your 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 additional cascade spells are not very good, and um, uh, I guess that's kind of it. Your, your additional cascade spells are just like pretty dead cards. I guess you could pitch them to like your subtleties and stuff. Yeah, violent outburst also being banned is, is tough. But we could try it at some point. Tiny Bones Jones up plus Norin and Magda. Will you try? Maybe. I want to play Tiny Bones plus Norin at some point. Tiny Bones joins up plus Norin. I'm not sure um, exactly the shell. Okay, they're going to explosives on one here. Off at main phase. Opponent is down to nine minutes on their clock. Likely experiencing some some lag. Although maybe this is maybe this is my lag. I don't know. It does seem like the lag gets really bad when I try to do this trade with mana traders, so. So maybe we'll just try to do the trade after this league, and then hopefully we're not regulated to only Magda today. Magda and Jace today. So they played a 6 6 Murktide. They have no cards left in their hand. They played Odawara instead of exiling the Bobble. Is that what happened? It looks kind of, kind of odd to me. I think Layla will attain staple status in modern. Uh, at the moment, I, I don't think Layla will be very good. Um, I could be wrong. I haven't played a lot with it outside of cube. So I think I'm going to cast Magda, then attack with the Dragon Engine. And I think just the Dragon Engine. Okay, now, now am I attacking with both? I think just here. I feel like this kind of looks like I want the engine to die so I can unearth it. Which like, it's to me feels like my opponent is more likely to accept this block, and if they don't block, I could just play Scallywag and make another treasure token. Yeah, yeah, Layla is you know, really nice with Ancient Tomb and Chrome Mox on turn one. Um, also, I, just to some extent, like his, historically in Legacy, one big dynamic is that there's less creature removal running around. I don't know if that's like the case at the moment. Uh, I have not. Played a lot of Legacy in the last couple of years, but historically, like these, like Goblin Goblin Rabble Master has been like a Legacy staple for a long time, and like you know, completely unplayable in Modern. It's a pretty similar dynamic. I think at this point we are attacking with everybody. How can we play Satoru and Breakout? Well, you know, yesterday we played Satoru, and Satoru was awesome in a deck that had. Four Subtlety, Four Solitude, Four Grief, Four Ephemerate, Cryptic Coat, uh, all as ways to trigger Satoru. Satoru seems like it'll be significantly worse with uh, <laughs> uh, shells that... <laughs> okay, I'm going to just blast them here. Uh, shells that have like only four, like four Breakout, Four Coco. I'm like, just not that excited. Uh, okay, they, my opponent has drawn two counter spells in a row here. That being said, they're still pretty behind. Is it Rebel Master play was because of Solens? Yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm saying. That that's why Rebel Master and Layla see play in Legacy, and like why these cards don't usually see play in Modern. And then also to some extent, there's less there has historically been less creature removal in Legacy than in Modern. Agent into it on turn, on turn three. You can do it on turn four, which is not, not ideal, I think. Okay. Can Rolling Vortex find a spot in the stacker's not good fit? I, I don't I don't know why you'd want to play it. Like we play a bunch of Mistress Bobbles. We're not really like that kind of aggro deck. I don't really understand the thought. What's the second set of Inti Asmo? So so in Inti Asmo is like a red based uh value shell we've played a few times. We've had like, you know, pretty good success with the archetype. And there, there's a few different builds we've had. Um so we've had a more burn-focused build that plays like four lightning bolt, four galvanic blast, and some shrapnel blast. Even sometimes, uh, we've played builds that 
Um, do they have a scion? Tough to beat. Yeah, they got the nuts on the play. Um, we've we've played builds that play the one ring. We've played uh, builds with insidious roots, and um, so sometimes with like the, in the ring build, I use the sunken citadel uh, uh, mana base. So we're likely pretty cooked. I mean, I can get a haywire mite in a couple of turns, and then maybe use this treasure token, but need them to be pretty flooded. That's a land. Need decks of to pillage the bog. I, I definitely think it, I think the card is good in coffers. I think that seems to be the main deck that pillage the bog would be like a playable modern card in. Um, beyond that, I don't really have ideas. I suppose we could also shadow spear if we find galvanic blast and give um, remove the the hex proof on scion. Is Highway Robbery letting you put a discard effect on Layaway for Asmo anything? It doesn't seem that important for Asmo, but it was very good in the Indie deck, I think. Or sorry, in the uh, Phoenix deck. But it seems, seems a little dirtly, but could be okay. Opponent decides not to play the Relic. We do find Galvanic Blast, which is something. Fortunately, no fetch land to trigger to send again, but our construct big enough to block the scion can get shadow spear, kill the scion. Hopefully um, we can even like scion galvanic blast. And then if they galvanic blast, and then if they have a stubborn denial, I can go. So activate shadow spear galvanic blast. I would need to draw a land, but I could, I could extruder and bolt the scion again. So my opponent surveils. They don't like the card. They see they play another surveil land. Played blue black scam with Jace, who seems like a pretty good shell. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not completely off of Jace. I do have a blue black Satoru scam list. I'd love to play today too. Uh, P and Kieran, I think, are just not modern playable anymore. Just too expensive. Used to love P and Kieran though. Yeah, I, people don't know this card is flying. I I don't really know exactly where that confusion comes from, but it does. a lot of people are confused. But let there be no confusion. This card has flying, always. Unless there's a dress down in play. No, did I say block sign? Block the Ragavan. Oh, do they have two burn spells? Very good draw from our opponent here. I was pretty excited to Galvanic Blast the Scion after removing Hexproof with Shadow Spear. Uh, they have a lot of sideboard plan in this matchup. We're going to bring in the Pick Your Poisons. We're going to bring in the second Haywire Might. We're going to bring in three, or four, sorry, four Ensnaring Bridges. I'm going to cut the boots. The boots with the spurs. Let's cut the Cauldron in this matchup. Cut the Needle. Then let's cut the Engine. Let's cut the Extruder, too. Just doesn't kill, like, almost anything. It's just Ragavan, really. I think I want the monkeys on the play. Then on the draw, I may trim some copies. I think I'll go ahead and trim one relic, one bolt. Any excitement about the new white dress down? Uh, marginal excitement. It's a cool card. Okay, reveal Gigantha. Oh, the Scion has flying question mark is in response to me misspeaking, I see. Um, I'm to keep this. Should I think about I think I'm just going to sandbag both baubles. Well, Cyan's an artifact, so people may be thinking you pick your poison on artifact, right? Okay, so I think I'm just going to bobble myself. If I see a land, I will not use the second bobble. If I don't, I will use the second bobble. Tread new Oko and creativity. New Oko is like not close to being a modern playable card. There's just so many dirtily dopey four mana planeswalkers that exist, and none of them are good. Like the only the only one of them that is is like a playable grindy four mana planeswalker is Karn, and Karn is uh, mostly good because it's colorless and you can just sink it, you know, just tutor whatever you want with it when you have tons of mana. Um, 
plays very differently from all these other ones. So we do find the land here. Could Goblin Engineer this turn, maybe? Feels like I just want to try to get the Ensnaring Bridge down, especially like kind of early where I can like pick a poison leyline bindings and stuff. I, I remember like people fighting me so hard on like the on 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 Jace the Mind Sculptor being better than Karn. People people really did not want to believe that Karn was not as good as Jace the Mind Sculptor, or Karn was better than Jace the Mind Sculptor. <laughs> people really really don't like that that case. Dashing a Ragavan. I guess I'll Galvanic Blast. The fact that Jace is barely playable says a lot about the format 2024 sad state of affairs. To be honest, like since it's been unbanned, Jace has been pretty medium. Like it has been occasionally like a card you put in your control decks, but it, it, it basically has never been more than that <laughs> in, since it's been unbanned. Has just has been has been aggressively medium the whole time. Uh, let's get the star to go with our engineer here. Can we just get more bridges? Came back with rose color grass. Jace gameplay is miserable. I know people like Jace a lot, but. But I, I Jace Jace has been like medium playable in control decks, and it was like that it was like that for a very small amount of time, even it feels. Um it was like it was like okay, you play one like one or two copies. A lot a lot of times it was considered worse than Teferi Hero of Dominaria. That's something I felt like for a long time. You know, just like <laughs> it, it, people glaze Jace really hard, but the card is just not just not all that. Squirming Emergence into Rakdos joins up into Hulking Metamorph damage combo. I remember reading Rakdos joins up and thinking that card wasn't close to modern playable. I also don't know what Hulking Metamorph does, but if you'll tell me what these cards do, I'll look at the combo. It's a little concerning maybe that we can just get like burned out of this game. I'm jumping. I think I'm just jumping with the Ragavan. Bounce Koi for Jace is the best answer. Is a control? <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. Things things are just so different. It's I know we can doom and gloom and be like says a lot about the state of the format, brother. But <laughs> just it doesn't really. Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean. It, it doesn't really. Shit is just different. I don't need this treasure from. I'm, I'm like, I'm just like trying to get my treasure from Scalawag. I don't need it. I just, I need to make sure this like Ragavan can attack. Also, I want to be able to like sack the bridge maybe in response to a second binding. Yeah, fun times. What about Layla? I'm excited to curve out Ragavan into Layla. Layla could be better than I think. Um. I don't know. Like, I think cards that are like really nice cube cards tend to get also glazed a little too much. Um, I I think you know it, like the card has to be better than Fable of the Mirror Breaker for it to be like a modern staple. At the time of making this comment, I don't think that it is going to be better than Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Um, but we'll see. They will eat the bridge if you sack it. Uh, right. Well, I was, I was only going to sack it in response to a Leyline Binding. But you're right, they would just exile it. Yeah, we did play a new Jays that performed poorly. Seems like I can take a hit from the Ragavan. 
I want to I want to keep making these treasure tokens so I have like fuel for the engineer. I did not consult on MH3. They they asked me and I said no. Cuz there was going to be like a 6 week like go to Seattle uh take the time off from the stream. It's just too too big a hit to the stream, too too much time away from either the the dogs and or Esther. Would have been cool. What should the lands look like? New to modern. I'll 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 show you when I when I play the deck. I'm I'm gonna work on it myself. The the green black deck. I haven't I haven't I need to sit down and take some time. Okay, so we get our descend going. I work for Watsy full time if they offered. Right now, definitely not. <laughs> I know they're like just laying off tons of people. It wouldn't feel like I would have a lot of job security, and I I love what I do. I think I would I would rather do this as long as I can than work for Wizards. Uh, before they like laid off like so many people, I we would I would have given it some more thought. But right now, it's just like seems silly to go and be like, all right, I'm gonna go work here for two years before the next round of layoffs, and then. I have no backup plan. Okay, so let this go so I can pick your poison or, and or haywire might it. My construct is unfortunately just a 4-4. Four, four. Looting twice. I think I'm going to jump with my Skylywag and the Construct. Not sure. There's a new CEO position open. Hmm, I'll see if I'm free. Oh, wrong color. So I guess I, I'm probably just going to get my Haywire Might and then pick your poison the binding and then I can just, I'll just have Haywire Might available for future binding. Seems, seems okay. Yeah, exactly. I, th I think the reason to be, you know, in the streamer to Watsi pipeline would be because of the job security and, you know, not, you know, not being in the somewhat unstable self-employed content creator e-boy role anymore. But it, it does seem like, especially in the gaming industry, like, they, yeah, they they just lay off people like at least a minimum once a year. There's a round of layoffs because this is how you <laughs> appease the fallout, <laughs> the fallout shareholders. <laughs> okay, so make me sack the saga. So do they have a, a stubborn denial for this pick your poison? If they do, we are potentially cooked. They don't, not yet, or you know. Nothing yet. Let's pick our top card. Mountain will fetch away. I may end up um if I see like a, a haywire mite or another bridge, maybe I would uh crack the relic. Let's see what they're drawing. Just to land. Another engineer. Here's a Haywire might. So they we've gone through two of their leyline bindings and one of their pick your poisons. Although pick your poison only will really be effective against an Urza saga of mine, I think. Okay, so let's grab the star. See what we draw off the star. Pick your poison fodder. Why not target myself again? I, I decided that if I target them and I see Leyland binding, then I could then I pop relic always instead of like seeing like seeing a like I, I just I just know if I need to dig for the thing if that makes sense by looking at them first. Not sure not sure if that 
made sense, but that was my thinking. I just get to see if I need to desperation puff the relic or not. Seems like we should be in pretty good shape here. We are 30 cards deep with no Magda. Uh, Jace was pretty bad, unfortunately. Also, did my opponent not Gigantha this game? Reveal Gigantha? Maybe they have like Force Negation in their deck. Okay. Interesting that they would deploy this into the active Haywire Might. Do they have like a Tide Binder? No, they just have a concession. Do you think MH3 will be toned down after MH2? Maybe, maybe not. Can't say. Like, the, the cards that have been spoiled are, like, certainly MH2 power level, like, new format defining cards. Like, the, a lot of the cards are, at least. Um, we'll, we'll see what, what the rest of the flare cycle looks like. I think the green flare looks very good. Um, could be wrong about it, but I think it looks very good. I think I think Emrakul thinks that maybe not. I think Emrakul is going to be very good. I uh, also um, the mana can get discounted by Eldrazi Temple. I I think the new Emrakul looks really scary. If I'm going to be quite honest, and I think Johnny looks good. I think the frog looks really really good. Now 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 you also have the frog plus the Toro as like two really good Demir two drops, which is kind of interesting. But I don't know. It, again, it, the only thing I could really say is I don't know. I haven't seen the set, and it's like it's you can you can all, all, also like we can speculate like this, and I can tell you how I feel about the new cards. But just like with Jace too, like you ne you never know how good a card is until you play with it. Some like evaluation is just a tough thing. I think I'm down for fourth land and i think i'm gonna not play my saga this turn mostly expect the engineer to die i think i'm gonna grab another bridge though looks like they have a burn spell for sure maybe i grab chromatic star i can get star off the saga though maybe initially releases is it? I think it's next month. I think. I think. <laughs> I think it comes out in May, y'all. Lava spur and Gruul Saga aggro creature. I, I don't know what Gruul Saga aggro is, but the boots are good cards for sure. Is June fifteenth? I thought it was end of May. Okay, so we got you know. A little less than two months. How do I feel about fetch lands? I think they're like the biggest design mistake of all time, but they are uh, <laughs> here to stay. Do you think the image three fetch lands are gonna be a game changer? What? The what? Spoilers start May twenty first. Yeah, I think I don't have a spoiler card. Surely I would have seen it by now, right? Triumphs are worse. Triumphs are not the worst design mistake of all time. <laughs> That's, I don't know. Triumphs would also see like, but you know, without fetch lands, would be pretty okay. Spock must have never seen a planeswalk. <laughs> Planeswalkers are like, at least in modern, not very good. Companion might be fetches. Yeah, maybe, maybe companion would be fetch lands. Fetch lands are up there though. Fetchlands are just like the best cards in Legacy Modern and I mean, not Vintage, I guess, but in, in Legacy and Modern, they're the best cards, have been the best cards the entire time. And are just getting better and better with like Surveil Lands and, <laughs> and Triomes. It's kind of silly. Oof. Hmm. Weird game where they just haven't had a creature, huh? QT with the 28 months. Thank you. Welcome back. I don't think the best cards makes them being a design mistake. 
Okay. They they are a design mistake though. They are like way too they you know, they're just way too efficient in what they do. Uh they the 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 fact that they <laughs> I guess I probably should have picked your poison here. Maybe not. But they they are way they are way too efficient in what they do. Um they are they are they're lands that can get all five colors of your mana and also like fuel graveyards for like delve stuff, delve shenanigans, they trigger revolt. Um they they enable so many things. Could dash. Can I dash Ragavan, Shinka, and Galvanic Blast? I'm not gonna have enough metal craft. And yeah, and also like they they have created so much shuffling in the game that didn't nest that didn't have to be there. Absolutely. There's there's a there's a long list of like there's a long list of cards in modern's ban list that would not be banned because of the fetch lands because they enable so many things. Treasure Cruise Dig, Death Raid Shaman, Arkham's Astrolabe, Uro. To name a few. There's probably there's probably not that many more. Maybe Pond, Ponder might not be banned though. Shuffling still exists, even standard is shuffle shuffle. It's not that much. I don't know. Fetchlands are fetchlands are they're too good at what they do. They enable too many things, and they make physical gameplay worse. Um, and this, this, and this is my thesis statement on why Fetchlands are the worst design card of all time. Um, can use the Shinka as our crime committer. Treasure Cruise and Dig would be banned without fetches. I think this is not true. I, I, I think it's not true. Like. Cruise like Cruise is good in Pioneer. Like, they, would they be playable cards? Probably. I I think that they would not be banned without fetches. At least maybe not in like a current context of modern. Could be wrong. Okay, I hope we find something good off the R Ragavan. Seems like they have a counter spell. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put Gigantha in my hand. Dig might not be a lot of people Pioneer asking for Cruise Band. I don't know. It would at least be like... It's a, it's a very different card without Fetchlands. Yeah, I'm not saying ban Fetchlands. I'm just, I'm just saying Fetchlands were the worst design card of all time. A lot of iterations. Aren't they designed after fetches? So fetches were taken into account in design. The thing about fetch lands, though, is they're so hard to design around. They just enable so many things and they get all five colors. It's just so tough. Yeah, Galvanic would, would deal five damage there because it's a it's a on cast trigger make the treasure. Too bad uh, we weren't able to get our dragon. Yeah, compa companion is definitely if you feel like that's the worst design mechanic, you know, you're pretty on the nose. Which has got only basic CFC. But yeah, if you get Prismatic Beast, that would still be a good card. Yeah, this is true. It is, this is certainly the format of design mistakes. Okay, everyone's got three cards in their hand as we don't need to ramble about fetch lands all day. Looks like maybe a Murktide, which can get its poison picked. Thought Mutate was the worst. All right, I forgot about Mutate. <laughs> Take it all back. Basic campaign became that's definitely most broken. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I what are they thinking? Something has to be the worst designed, and having it be glue pieces that every color deck has access to isn't the worst. Yeah, I don't know. It's also kind of subjective, right? It's kind of a philosophy thing to some extent. Save me, Shinka Gigantha. Shout out to the Shinka suggester also. I think they have a force of negation in their hand, pretty likely. So I'm pretty cooked. Don't even have a metal craft to block plus blast. Their hand is too good to even loot. 
So I have to. So I, step one is being wrong about them having a fetch land, and then I have to top deck and snaring bridge, and then never let them draw their third lightning bolt. Seems easy. Yeah, I think people are experiencing a lot of lag. I don't think it's our opponent's fault. They're playing slow. Cursed totem, huh? They got one card left in their hand. They got a couple looks at an ensnaring bridge. Got only a couple copies of ensnaring bridge left in their deck, though. I cast a relic of progenitus. I exile a relic of progenitus. I look at my top card. It's a fetch land. Worst design card of all time. We go to the next match. Uh, keeping. We're on the we're on the play against the Gigantha deck. I think I'm gonna put back the relic. I'm gonna lead a mountain so that I can kill a turn one creature. Apparently, thirty necro triggers with just Crass Moto is pretty common occurrence in C D H. Yeah, maybe I won't. I love fetch lands. Like this is the I also like like fetch lands. I like how powerful they are. I like how. Like uh, my man is just perfect as soon as I draw a fetch land, but that 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 is also the problem with the card. The, the the biggest problem with fetch lands, besides everything they enable, is that any fetch land can just get you all any color you need, and to a big extent, the whole like this whole Magic the Gathering game that we play. I mean, they're just so likely to have removal spell. Maybe I sandbag the Scallywag. Yeah, but if they like bolt here, then they're like maybe they're fetching a little bit weird in their domain deck. Let's let's play the Scallywag. Should maybe get Haywire might too. Or sorry, stomping ground for here. I might. But the thing, is, the, the biggest problem is that they are lands that just give you all of your colors, and like you draw one fast land, and your mana is probably perfect in your constructed deck, and that that's the biggest problem. Is it? it they they break the color pie in a big way. They break the whole idea of balancing magic around. You know, you being able to, um, <laughs> not play all the colors. But yeah, it's it's of course it's just you know very subjective, and I I also enjoy to play with fetch lands, more so online. Calling fetch lands the worst design mistake when I play they're bad for the game. I do think they're bad for the game. <laughs> I do I do think they're bad for the game. We, we could move up the lock on, but I know. <laughs> I I I am saying that they're bad for the game though. So this will make them either like shock the hold up stub or not. I mean flooded strand again. I think I think Flood is drowned. Plenty of times fetches can't get the right color basic. I don't know, brother. It feels like coping a little bit or your deck's built in this the bad for the game in what sense because they break the color pie playing your spells reliably is most important magic again uh, uh, we, we can we just go back and forth on this it's it is going to be like a somewhat philosophical thing but um i i think that the color pie would just be so much more balanced without fetch lands i think that they are way too efficient in what they do i think that um i think that having perfect mana all the time is not a good a good uh function of magic i think magic is a lot more interesting when mana bases are more restrictive and uh harder to build and you have like you, you know, the harder to build too is thing is so big it's like like actually thinking about what lands you put in your deck instead of just fetch and shocks triumphs for everything is so much more interesting to me you can disagree though you could disagree and, and not respond to this if you disagree you can disagree take a deep breath and move on you are allowed to disagree but this is just my opinion Okay, so we got a synthesizer deck tech here. I would be playing four synthesizers at first just to test it out. You can disagree with I'm right, of course. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm saying this is my opinion. It's so subjective, but so hard to argue with some people on the internet sometimes. Get a relic?
I think it's kind of easy to cut like second patchwork for fourth, similar Oracle and synthesizer. Are you supposed to play zero mirror enforcer? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, huh? Synthesizer's not legendary, multiple copies trigger each other. Nice. When the draw, I think we're on the play that game. So back to back zoo opponents, matchups maybe not good. The bridge plan seemed to be at least okay last time. I think I'm still gonna cut the dragon engine. I'm still gonna cut the cauldron. I'm gonna cut the Boots with the spurs, I'm gonna trim, cut the needle, cut a relic, cut the legion extruder, and then on the play I cut a bolt on the draw, cut a ragavan, I think. Yeah, I think I would cut both patchworks, probably play one synthesizer, one mirror enforcer, maybe you cut the fourth thought cast for second mirror enforcer, something along those lines. Could consider a breeding pool in the deck for Besage you. Um, almost definitely, I think, should be playing four blue-green duels over the blue-black ones. Just activating, casting Pick Your Poison and activating Hero hey, Might, I think, is a lot more relevant than attaching your, um, attaching your cranial platings. Like the idea of having one value synthesizer in the deck. I think star is better. Because you just like always get the card when you're sacking it to engineer. The perfect man argument is wild to me. Okay, please shut up. If you, you can you can disagree. Please shut up. <laughs> Let's move on. Pretty big exaggeration it's not that big of an exaggeration but it's such a like nitpicky thing on a conversation i would love to be done with please <laughs> to say that it's wild and big exaggeration that fetch lands give you perfect mana is just it's not true. It's it's very close to perfect mana. Alright, we cast a bridge. Getting our poison picked. We go after my saga instead of my bridge. Got another saga. Let's drop her procedure to pick the argument over and over. I know I, I, that's why I'm asking people to drop because I get so freaking stun locked. But it's also it's also like I don't know. It's just it's annoying to people in chat being so dramatic too about like I, <laughs> what is a dumb and like silly, not that important conversation. But it's like it's the comment was it's wild to me to say a fetch line gives you perfect mana. Is that wild? Is that wild to say a, what a single fetch gives you perfect mana? It is just like so silly to like this this is something that you get really upset about or really like well calling that wild is so so silly to me and it's just and then and then also saying something that's so silly while i'm just asking people to move on is i get, I get stun locked and everything you know it just is what it is getting ley lined hopefully not force of vigor But yes, I'm being I cannot stop stunlocking myself. Please help me stay unstunlocked by moving on. Yeah, too much psychic damage. Am I allowed to say it's silly me to think it's silly? I said the word wild. Am I allowed to say it's silly to me that you think it's silly I said the word wild? You you're allowed to say that, yeah. 
you are allowed to think it's silly. You're about you're allowed to be upset with me here, and uh, this is all allowed. Magda's been looking good. I've been liking the card, Magda. Why not Miter Bridge and Swing? My opponent has four cards in their hand. They're likely all pretty act interactive. If I might my bridge and they kill a construct, I'm not sure that we're necessarily in great shape. They have two removal spells for my constructs, and then they just play a creature. We're kind of cooked. Let me go ahead and pop the relic and see what we draw. We should maybe be playing Scrabbling Claws over all these relics. Yeah, it's okay. I, I, I don't mean to get so heated. It's just... I, 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 I think the issue is always just you know, trying to argue with a thousand people in the chat. We're all going to have different opinions, but just in general, I think... Good etiquette is. <laughs> on, on, it would it would help a lot if we could just, not get so circular somehow. And I don't know I don't know the best way to do that, but. I would love to figure it out. Okay, I mean, if I hey, where I might my own bridge? My constructs are only five fives. Why not attack first before playing the spear? I I should have done that. Miss five damage by playing the Shadow Spear before attacking, yeah. Two stun locked, huh? Asking them for a gen rocket, pretty nice for me. I, I I think that I've done a really good job over the years kind of like outlying what I you know, outlying these kind of boundaries, outlying what I think is would be nice for chatters to do. And I think this is the whole reason we're able to even have conversations about magic it, here in this chat is because I, I am pretty clear about uh, what I'd like to see and what I think is, you know, good etiquette and not. I think, I think this chat is awesome. And I think <laughs> there's like, like how, how else are we going to have conversations like this without, uh, outlying this kind of stuff? <laughs> right, so they play their Gigantha. Can't you just sack a treasure? No, the sin is only non-token. Which is why, um, again, I, I would be I would be a little bit more interested in getting aggressive here if uh, I didn't have to shrink my constructs by two. We can just chill for a long time here. They'll drill till they drill Scion. I mean, I can kill the ley line, the Scion. I still have Incinerary Bridge in play the moment although now i feel like we could do this somewhat comfortably i think i'm just going to shadow spear the gigantha i'm a little bit worried about getting like double binding still but even through double binding we're not like losing losing the game i wonder if they have tide binder If Shadow can make me lose hexproof, I know, yeah. Just saying again, the, the Tilde Joel Scion. I'm not, I'm not too worried about Scion. I think, I think I should be attacking now. Could be waiting longer. Kind of tough to say. I guess if they have three, <laughs> if they have three bindings, I'll feel pretty dumb. Thought Symphony with new synth. Uh, it, it seems it, lo it looks very fun. It could be optimal in Affinity. I don't, I don't know. It's to me, to me, I'm not super excited about it, but it, it could be, it could be just like a correct card to play in affinity. Right. I'm not sure about that aspect of it. Um, beyond, beyond that, beyond it, like being possibly optimal, possibly not. I am, I am pretty concerned about like just the affinity archetype as a whole. Like the archetype is still, still has a lot of uh, problems. <laughs> Where you are like a lot of a lot of decks like Titan and Tron can just kind of ignore what your deck is trying to do, and um, 
your deck is like very, very fragile to any hate cards. So I don't know. Thinking two three it looks fun as shit. Affinity just loses to Bow Masters. Yeah. Um Affinity likely still loses to Bow Masters. I, I would just play four at first. Like this this is this is kind of what how I like to build around cards at first. Is like like with the Satoro deck yesterday, I have like as I have a build of Satoro that's a functional modern deck, but still plays as many cards to maximize it as possible. Um and I, and then I and then I like to start with a card as maximized as possible. And then I try to pull back and then see, like, see how a card plays being, like, less in on it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sacrifice a treasure token here. Um, if that makes sense. So I, li I like to start really, really big on a card and then start to go smaller. <laughs> um, but it's a sad moment, lol. Um, and so that's, that's also kind of what we're doing with Magda here. Like, we don't necessarily need to be playing this much Magda support. Do you get Satoru Noren? I have a Satoru Noren deck built. I would love to play it. Looks very fun. Uh, Jace deck did pretty poorly. So I'm going to draw one more Bolt, one less Ragavan. Game 3. Lost a game 3 to Zoo with this deck last round. But I I would just start with four synthesizers and for a little for a little bit. I like I don't know if I I would I probably wouldn't play four in a tournament right now, but just test four. See how it feels. Card is good in multiples. It's you know, in theory a deck you're building, you build around a lot, so I think just start with four. Um kind of, and it's kinda of bad to a Ragavan, but I'm gonna keep. When it does have a ley line of the guild pact, always pretty scary. Um but only a turn one wild Nakato. Lightning Bolt would be a good draw. Magda's a nice draw too. The old turn two, Jace, huh? Or recommend. <laughs> no, I said Jace. This league is showing one Mandic Bridge a small improvement to make. I don't know, maybe. I I I feel like it's kind of tough to to say this league is showing that when we've we have played against like mostly decks that Bridge has been good against, but if we just didn't play against these decks, you wouldn't be saying that. You know what I mean? It's like okay, so let's go sack this so I can go. I think just Scallywag make a treasure and play Saga. Like if if we just didn't play decks that Bridge was good against, you wouldn't be saying this. But you you could be you could be right. Could definitely be right. Rough bolt there. So we can go Magda plus two treasures next turn. Maybe this is going to be a little too slow on the draw with no one drop. But I can go, I can go Magda, Relic, Bobble, Crime, Crime. But if my plan as part of this is also to take five more points of damage, I'm going to be pretty cooked against a single Tribal Flames or a single Removal Spell. My opponent's got three cards in their hand. So let's see what we draw and then reevaluate. Doesn't doesn't seem like I really have a better option. I don't feel like making a saga token is the play here. When do we add Shinka? Uh in between leagues. I don't think make your own luck is gonna be playable. Hopefully my opponent's hand is all pick your poisons. Opponent's reading the Magda. My opponent's kind of flooded. You know, I get to make a dragon next turn. I get to make a construct next turn. It's one pick your poison. Seems like they have something. That's in any spree cards. This turn. I like the black one and like coffers with Bowmaster and Shieldred. Not the biggest thing ever. So they're going to pick your poison, my Urza Saga. Hit me down to five. Dead do a Tribal Flames. Yeah, I haven't started building around Lost GT yet. I'd hope to do that this week or next week at some point. So I'm, I'm really likely to... Again, I'm planning for life here. 
<laughs> really likely to get a Haywire Might. I guess it's only two damage. Plus your taste seems too slow. It, it could be not good. We'll see. I I think I think it'll definitely be good in charge counter decks, but I don't think charge counter decks would likely be that good. I think there's a very good chance it finds a home as a one one of in scales. And I think there's a small chance it ends up being like a kind of okay main deck card and some other sh strategies, but I'm a lot, lot less optimistic about that. Um Okay, so I'm gonna grab Haywire I might. I'm gonna get a Magda. I guess maybe it's correct for me to bridge too and play Shadow Spear. With the intention of blocking the Ragavan with the Might and then sacking, targeting the Binding and then tapping the Relic and committing a crime. Also, we want two, four Picker Poison, two Bridges. Seems like Bridges is a bit slow at times you can search for it. The thing about in this matchup is like a lot of times you want multiple Bridges because they have answers to it. Um, But maybe, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I I think that it's it with like first drafts of Jack. <laughs> GG, thanks for the games. GG's. Yeah, no way to play around that card. Okay, 2-0 to 2-2. Let's finish up this league. 2 but, but also Giralf is better than Mentor, I think. Or at least you want to be testing it instead of Mentor. John Dredge with the plotting, draw two. Cardi Head and Phoenix. They were also playing Phoenix. Interesting. Grief Scam seems good enough for that Shadow Spite anti synergy. Yeah, it's kind of awkward to play Unearth and Grief in the same deck, but it's good. Would you drop the one two treasure maker next iteration? Uh, I don't know. I like that card a lot. It, it is possible. It isn't optimal. I'm just going to lead on the boots here. But I, I, I played a good amount of Scallywag. I think that card is just kind of like an underplayed gym in modern. Kind of a pet card of mine. Could play Fable instead. And then you need an extra land too. So you get like Cyborg, um, Cyborg uh, Shadow Spear maybe. Okay, interesting. So let's get the dragon engine. Let's equip the boots on the engineer, but let's not quite activate it. Uh, we could we could sack the we could just sack the the boots to bring back engine this turn if we felt like that was really important. I think my opponent's just gonna grab an Urborg here. Then we'll see. Lover Dart Loam, Conflag, Plotter, Phoenix, Creeping Chill, Sneak with Dark Blast, Salvaging, Morphos. Interesting. We play with white red prowess yet? Uh, I, have, I have a green red list built. We're gonna play that next. There's a lot of buzz around uh, Slick Shot. I think Dingo trophied with it. I think Mingu's been liking it. All the builds are a little different, of course. Sucking the boots is tough. The boots are pretty good here. Let's uh, let's keep the boots. I think and 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 this treasure token. I I can just five man unearth this at some point. Okay, so let's go. Bobble, Magda. Do they have a third copy of Fatal Push in their hand? I still get a treasure if they do. Looks like this is the uh, March, probably. So, not quite a three for one. They pitch a Damnation. Can't really count a treasure as a full card. But we still get the treasure. They're drawing a Swamp, so unfortunately this will unlock... A four drop in their hand, most likely. I'm not sure exactly what we're hoping for. I don't think I can bottom Urza Saga. Oh, sorry. I should have bottomed Urza Saga. They just have Demolition Field. They also have Karn. Uh, but if they minus the Karn, I can Dragon Engine kill it. So they wisely plus instead. Um, I think I should just Dragon Engine. Which does have haste. So discard our hand. 
We cannot kill the Karn right now since our treasure token is locked underneath the Karn ability, but we can kill it next turn if they plus, which I think they're pretty incentivized to plus against like the activate ability artifact deck. Won't have priority to kill the Karn necessarily, but they have to do something else first. Slick shot is 20 ticks right now, wow. I, I bought them, I feel, for a lot less, but I can't remember. Maybe not a lot less, but less than that, I thought. Opponent's tanking. I think Pioneer Boots plus Mikicho Saga is legit. Maybe it is. I, I've never been a big fan of that card, but some people really like that card. Dude, you can haste a Gigantha with the Boots. Is Amulet the best Saga deck? It's probably just the best deck in Modern. It's, uh very heavily in the conversation and seems better than scales or so scales i think is the next best saga deck the magda do you think you could slot satoro in your time warp ephemerate deck from last weekend um maybe we were, we were talking about that earlier and how um Oh, there was uh, some some potential there. The, the mana is is awkward. Maybe you play Leyland Binding at that point, but working with uh, Ephemerate and uh, Cosmic Rebirth and Solitude has got me looking at it for sure. Okay, so let's play and pop the Relic. Save me, Gigantha. They have a Shieldred's Edict. You can't though with haste hits pretty hard, huh? But just decides to take the hit. We'll think about cracking this bobble. If it looks like my Gigantha will live, then I'll, I'll definitely crack it. I can just equip it onto the uh the Shadow Spear onto Gigantha. It'd be fun if uh, my Gigantha lived for a little while. It, it is it's immune to fatal push, but my opponent's already drawn two fatal pushes. Troll. Bowmaster's on top. So if I drew a lightning bolt here, that would be really nice. Oh, this this works. Yeah, this totally works. Okay, so I'm gonna experience some more lag. So I guess we can't quite equip the Shadow Spear here to the, or to the um, Dash the Ragavan. And I know they have a Bowmaster, so I guess I'm not playing the Ragavan yet. Guess I am uh, gonna restart Magical Line again. Maybe give it a second. Yeah, I haven't used Lost Jitta yet. I, I, haven't, I haven't played a deck though where I feel like it's like, cor like the correct one to play yet, but we maybe will feel that way at some point. Opponent's hand is Orcish Bowmaster Mystery Card. Look at this Gigantha. This is what Gigantha should have been. Haste, Lifeling, Trample, Ward 1, 7, 6. Their other card here is a Cabal Kaffers. They are seemingly intending to trade Shadow Spear for Gigantha. Okay, so opponent's down to 8. So I probably sack the boots, then equip the shadow spear. Again, I know my opponent's last card is Orcish Bowmaster, so not doing anything with the Ragavan. Think about activating field, maybe. Their draw for turn was just a sunken citadel. 
Okay, so I can go Skylywag, crack a fetch land, and then I can start sacrificing the treasure tokens to the extruder. Still bow master with rag isn't it on top. I'm pretty sure when I saw it that was already I like I don't think that was an option. Maybe I'm misremembering. Yeah, make an elk with extruder. Out of mountains, thank you, Shinka. Yeah, also like the ETB deal too is pretty good. Like these kind of these kind of cards don't usually have like an enter the battlefield effect. Point makes eight mana. Finds a copy of the One Ring. They, their life total is not the highest for the One Ring. We've got some copies of Lightning Bolt in our deck too. Their hand is just a Bowmaster and a Mystery Card. A Mystery Card. Not a spell that's relevant at the moment. Lightning Bolt seems to be an above average draw here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just put this Mire in the graveyard. Make a treasure, which makes me a 3 3. Yeah, this is a bit, definitely, I, I, I am interested in trying to play a build that is more in on this. Right now, it's just like a cheeky one of, kind of, but. I'm going to bolt in response to the, the ring tap this turn. Looks really funny. I think it's good. I think it's okay. Uh, I think it's like a, a nice first draft kind of build. Am I doing a new Ellos deck every day? Um, yeah, I, I'm doing multiple. This is our second one of the day. We're going to do a third new one uh, next league, assuming I can get Mana Traders to work. Um, yeah, doing as many as we can. So let's cut the Shadow Spear. Going to bring in the Needle number, needle number two. Try to name Karn and Ring. Don't know if I if I even want the first Tamar it might. It's probably okay. Don't think there's anything really better. I don't want to play Damping Sphere. Valky GS was pretty bad, unfortunately, bad uh. So comparing it to Bone Crusher and it got spoiled. I just automatically thought of curtains up. Yeah, kinda of, yeah, that's that's a, a good comparison. Yeah, it was O2, but it's also like did not <laughs> seem like it was gonna get much better. I'm not sure how Dingo's build looked, but I heard that his he had a pretty bad league with it too. It seems like it's just not not really a modern card. Take that, cling to dust. Suspense Profane Tutor again. I wonder if it's correct to not play the Saga this turn. I feel like that's the case because I, I kind of want to like make the if they're gonna field my saga, I want them to do it on turn four where their mana is like pretty, pretty taxed. You know, just kind of simply put, they a lot of times just don't have enough to do with their mana on turn three. What does an Asmo deck look like with Legion Extruder and that two mana treasure making dude? Scallywag. I don't know. Like, uh, it's a, y it would it would it would want to look like an aggressive <laughs> deck. I, I think one big issue with uh, strategies like that is that you are slow and easy to interact with, and it, I would be worried that that would be the case. Magda. So take another engineer. Put a star in the yard, maybe maybe a cauldron. Cookbook extruder sounds nice. Maybe it sounds very dirtily to me. Like, like I, like I don't know that I really just want to be that in on. I'm making, I'm making a three three every turn, and that's my end game. Doesn't just doesn't seem like that beats almost anything. Could be wrong. But I, I've, I've played a lot of Asmo decks, and I, I find that the Asmo decks I find I have success with are like fast and can kill really fast with like, uh, um. The new card. <laughs> How did I forget the new card? Insidious Roots or like, like Shrapnel Blast, Galvanic Blast. I don't think that these kind of builds 
and the kind of builds we're describing are fast enough. I could be wrong, though. I'm going to lightning bolt my opponent, especially with the dragon engine in the yard here. Another engineer. Does it feel like my opponent could have cling to dust? If they have cling to dust, we stop them from gaining three life at least. I guess I just don't use the ability. It's okay. As the decks in scary place, the black white super big. Yeah, I, I just there's just not enough black white decks at the moment to like really be too scared of it. But it is true. I have a ring. I'm just going to sack the dragon engine so I can bring it back again. And then we're probably going to end up bolting the Bowmaster. Might have to bolt the Karn, though. It's bad. So I don't really want to pop the relic, so let's not, I guess. It hasn't tapped their ring yet. There they go. Needle? <laughs> okay, let's go to game three. Got a lot to do today. Crazy last card for them to have there. I'm going to check in on Esther real quick. Hold on. Okay, on the play. What's up? It's me, your friend Inspiring Spike. Cool hand. Yeah, we're always doing channel point deck techs. I think they may be a little up today, though. Cynthia Williams is done at Watsi. So, so y'all, everyone who's saying Cynthia Williams is done at Watsi, y'all, y'all all knew who she was before today, because <laughs> I, I, I didn't, I couldn't have told you who that was. Yeah, she's my aunt. So well, sorry for the family drama then. She does. She only started twenty-two. Yeah, it's, it's it's okay. Like I, I don't I don't think I I've ever been able to name <laughs> any non Paul Chion employee at Wizards. So I'll be able to activate the engineer at instant speed if I need to. So I'm going to not attack with the engineer. Yeah, but sorry, I can name more. Mark Rosewater, Carmen Kim, Kim I, sorry, Carmen, I can't say your new last name. <laughs> uh, I can name a few more. I can name a few more. I can name a few more. I can name the like play design people, but like I can't name any, any executives at Wizards. I can name play. I can name plenty of play design people. No, LSV doesn't work for Wizards. Plenty, plenty of play design people, plenty of like old pros, right? But not any, not, I can't name any executive. That's what I should have said from the start. Okay, I... We'll see what we do if they have a Bowmaster. I may still draw three. They don't have it. Isn't that, isn't that nice? They just don't have it. Um, I would be remiss if I did not 
try to get in for six damage here. And then my goblin engineer can trigger descend on the enterprising scallywag. Goblins who synergize together, stay together. My opponent's life total is going away. Could be good to maybe just play... Yeah, what if we just play Needle on the One Ring and then we play Relic and if they have Damnation, I can just go Saga Token Equip Boots. Yeah, you play, you play Magic Name, everyone wants to even play. Yeah, I can in plenty of play design people, but not sign up the executives. Bisk with the 21 months, thank you, welcome back. Boots are looking really nice today. There's a second league. We had a, uh, we had an O2 where we had a Merfolk opponent who had a pretty big case of having it, and then the next match was also kind of like similarly rough. But Magda, Magda looked pretty good both times, and I'm happy we did a run back. I guess so. I I should just be going. Oh, I can't go. I can, I, if I draw a land, I can win this turn off the Dragon Engine. Let's go for it. I guess I get to thin the deck a little bit too. So, oh, they're just conceding? No. They weren't quite dead. I needed to draw a land off the Dragon Engine to give it haste, but I guess that was kind of likely. We, you know, this league also we lost two very close matches to the main zoo. Like, if, you could, if we could figure out how to make that matchup a little bit better, better uh, maybe that would be a big deal for the deck. Um, so I, I, had, I had two decks rented at the moment. I have the Jace deck, which went really poorly. I have this Magda deck. Um, I've been trying...